following King Hatch will be Andrew Hickman on Green Hill Flyway. Number six, the familiar dense colours, green and gold checks. Starters orders. And they're away. Lady Beale and Sarah Mir are the two to show. Also, there is you drive here as they go towards the first of the 19 fences. Green Hill Flyaway was slowing to his stride. Oh, well, it's one of my the leaders all jumped the first. Well, Safety over that one. And Green Hill Flyaway lost some valuable lengths at the start of that race. And he's about 12 lengths back in last place. As they go on then downhill, you cry fair and Lady Beale, Sarah Mir, King's Hatch. They're in the air together. All safe there over that one. Holly's Lady, who's midfield, and then comes Bruce Buckley. Also there is Eagle Bid, racing them into the home turn with two complete circuits to go, as they do so. You cry fear, King's Hatch. Bruce Buckley there in the air together, then comes Kill Kill Gale, Sarah Mia. On the inside of Sarah Mia is Holly's Lady, and comes Eagle Bid. Behind Eagle Bid is Lady Beale, none so gay. The other one we've none so game is Greybury Lane. The back marker still only just is Green Hill Flyaway. All safely open the, over the open ditch as they head up now towards the fifth fence. On uphill they go. They come back into view. For me, it's King's Hatch that's putting up an immense lead. He's jumped a little right hand into that. Then comes Hugh Cry Fair and Kill Kill Gale. Chasing these is Eagle Bid. Nothing behind these, then comes Sarah Mir, none so gay. Slavery Lane. So there is Lady Beale. They go on up towards the next fence. Things Hatch. Got seven lengths clear of the chasing group. All his Lady moving up into second place. Eagle Bid. Kill Kill Gale, Bruce Buckley. They head out along the horizon. It's Eagle Bid, King's Hatch. And comes all his lady, and these three have broken about 12 lengths clear. But Bruce Buckley, none so game, Lady Beale. Chasing these, Eagle Bid, Gregory Lane. You cry fear has lost a lot of lengths, and Sarah Mir is just last. Heading then downhill for the first time on towards the eight, the 19 fences, just before, before the point where they set off. As they come down to it. Holly's Lady, who's just been headed by Eagle Bid. Eagle Bid now takes them along from Holly's Lady. First and second, then coming into the fence is Bruce Buckley, then none so gay, and Lady Beale and Sarah Mir. So there is Eagle uh, Gregory Lane. Green Hill Flyaway is there. It's a long way already with only this part of the course covered between first and last. Leaders take that one. Bad mistake there by Kate Hills. Seems to be lost to stirrups or something. And in fact, it ran out. So that's Bruce Buckley out of the race. So the leaders come up towards what will be the last in offence time. Eagle Bid. Followed by Ollie's Lady. These are a long, long way clear of the chasing none so game Green Hill Flyaway. Then comes Gregory Lane, Lady Beal, Sarah Mir. Pulled up his Kill Kill Gale, then comes You Cry Fear. As they go on then out into the country for the first time, and these two leaders have broken a distance clear of the chasing Green Hill Flyaway, none so game. Gregory Lane. These really appear to be the only ones left in this 11 runner race. So up they go then. The leaders come into this fence. Eagle Beard. Length the good of Ollie's Lady. These two are a long, long way clear of the chasing group. Headed by Green Hill Flyaway, none so game, Greybury Lane. Lady Beale is continuing, and these seem to be the only ones left in this race. So up the hill they go. There's nearly 
When they jump this next fence, there'll be a fence between first and last. As though Lady Beale may be being pulled up at the rear of the track. So, what was 11 setting out? It really completed down to four or five. They head up now hill, and there will be at least a fence between first and last. Eagle bid just dies at that one slightly in lots and lengths, but manages to come up on the inside of all his lady, so in the outer, but they go along the horizon. Look at that. And these are a long way clear, they will stay up on their feet. All his lady, and they've broken miles away clear of Green Hill Flyway, then jump none so gay, and also Avery Lane. These seem to be about the only ones left in it, as they now race out downhill then for the last time, coming into the fourth room home. And as they do so, the two leaders are now starting to motor, and as they do, it's Ollie's Lady that's taken it up again over Eagle Bid. Ollie's Lady and Eagle Bid, there's about two lengths between them. Chris Gordon is going for home on Ollie's Lady. As they come into the fourth from home, and a good jump by, and in fact, Eagle Bid was a faller. Eagle Bid has got at that one. And as that leaves Ollie's Lady a very long way clear, Green Hill Flyway is trying to chase on in second place by the looks of things. But as the leader comes in, Ollie's Lady, he's safely over that one. Then comes Green Hill Flyaway, good jump there by him, a long way back is none so game, and then Gravery Lane, these are the only four that seem to be running in it. But as the leader comes down a long way clear to the swan fence, and as Ollie's Lady comes into it, got a little close but got away with it, he's just cantering for home. But Green Hill Flyaway and Andrew Hickman are starting to fly after him, but they've got a lot of work to do, but Green Hill Flyaway is starting to catch on Ollie's Lady, and Ollie's Lady is starting to tire as Green Hill Flyaway comes into the home. Turn. It's Holly's Lady with about a five length advantage that's been cut back all the time. Holly's Lady as he comes into the last. Three lengths to the good of Green Hill Flyaway. As they do Holly's Ladies up and over. Has Chris Gordon left the line up in the tank. Up towards the line. It looks as though he has. Holly's Lady's going to get there. Up to the line Holly's Lady. Then comes Green Hill Flyaway. Back the course. Comes Nunso Game in third. Gregory Lane is going to get be, be four. And they are going to be the only ones to finish. <laughs> Yeah, without all this light. Oh well. Yeah, I didn't. Uh, we thought it was in the light.